This is just a very brief introduction to GuruWare Ivy Generator for 3ds Max 2012. Um, I won't be going through all the parameters and putting in any details. I just really wanted to show you where to get it from and what it can do. Uh, it's just a plugin which generates Ivy over hard features and it's a really nice way of just tidying up some of your um, buildings and things, um, perhaps covering something that didn't work quite so well. To get the uh, the Ivy generator, you'd need to go to the GuruWare website, and you'll find that at www.guruware.at/main. Um, it's um, the, or, or you can Google it, of course, and just and just find it that way. Um, this is the website here, and once you're there, you click on the Ivy icon there, and it'll throw up a page which has all the parameters and different settings that you can use and if you're wanting to use this plugin that's probably the best uh, best way to actually get all the information you need about it um, at the bottom of that page you'll see there's a link to download the plugin and the usual thing is to just download it and save it into some sort of a location it downloads as a zip file and when you've unzipped it you then need to save the, uh, the the plugin itself into some folder on your machine. I like to put these all in the same place <coughs> and the place where I've put this one is in program files, Autodesk, 3ds Max 2012 um, and there you'll find there's a plugins folder and there's the GW underscore IV DLO file which I've downloaded from the GuruWare website. Once that's been downloaded, you need to put it into 3ds Max. And the way to install it is the same as any plugin. We go to the Customize menu, Plugin menu, and then right click on that window and Load New Plugin and then just browse to where we've placed the plugin and open it. I won't do that again because it's already been installed once and it'll just complain. What I've got here now is a simple um, scene which really is just a wall um, with some ground there just so that um, we can make the ivy grow up the wall and what I'd like to do now is to add that ivy and what you do is you put the root of the ivy uh, at the base of the wall and just let it grow up that I might close a couple of things here because curves my up a bit um, so to install this we click on the create icon and in the drop down menu there we'll see there's all the usual things that we can create and right at the bottom is the GuruWare object. When we've got that we click on the Ivy button to create some Ivy. Make sure Auto Grid is selected and then just click where we want to place the Ivy in our presentation. Now positioning the Ivy, we need to put the root at the base of the wall in this case but just above the plane which I've got for the ground um, if it's below it won't through it so you just need to remember that and just place it in a nice location when you've got that in the position that you want we go to the modify menu and we'll see here all the different parameters for the for the ivy now what we want to do is to begin to grow that ivy we can just click on the Grow Ivy button and then stop it or we can click here and stop it at a certain age. Um, I'll just let this one grow I think um, and uh, then just stop it by clicking pause at the time. So let's click Grow Ivy and watch it grow. The ivy begins to grow up the wall and when it reaches a point where we're fairly happy with it um, we can just stop it. Uh, 
Okay, well I'll just stop that about there I think because we've got quite a few branches and things appearing and then it will produce the ivy for us. Okay, now we'll render that and just see what we've got. And there's our ivy growing up the wall. Now if you're wanting to change that around a little bit we can adjust a few of the parameters. One of the most obvious ones probably is to just to change the number of leaves there are on the ivy. Um, we do that here in the leaves setting. Uh, at the moment the density of the leaves is around about 0.5 so if we change that to say 0.7 we'll see more leaves appear and we can also change the size of the leaves um, and a few other things there. Let's render that. There we go. And you'll see we've actually produced more leaves in our ivy. So that's the ivy generator.